guys and welcome back to Get The Gloss. I hope you're really good today. Today I'm going to talk to you about eyebrows and how to perfect your eyebrows. Um, eyebrows have become something that's very important in beauty. They have been very important forever really and eyebrows have sort of changed shape over the years. I mean in the 1920s they used to be a big arch shape uh, and in the 80s they were left to go, <coughs> sorry, they were left to go very very bushy. Um, if you think about Brooke Shields, nobody really plucked them, they were just left to grow fallow. And then um, in the 90s, when the supermodel era, they became very, very defined. Uh, now, thanks to people like Cara Delevingne, who've got very naturally bushy eyebrows, um, they are thick but well defined. So you don't want your um, eyebrows to look like you're trying to change their shape. They need to look natural, but they need to look cared for, or looked after, or groomed. So, eyebrows are very important because they frame the face and they bring out the eyes. Um, and for a pale person like me, it can be quite hard to define them because, um, as you can see, my eyebrows are very, very pale. So I'm gonna show you today what I do to them to sort of like define them a bit more. Okay, first of all, I use a uh, eyelash dye and eyebrow dye. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to use Colour Sport. It's called 30 Day Mascara Eyelash Colour Solution. You can use it on lashes or your brows. And there's one pot here which is Eyelash Colour Solution 1 and there's a colour gel which is 2. Now, you put on the, the eyelash solution. Um, it says eyelash but you can use them for brows as well. I'm going to show you with this brow. Uh, maybe I'll just show you with one because um, then I can show you the difference. So you put this colour solution on first. Okay. Okay, I'll let that, uh, I'll let that work, it's magic. Whilst that's uh, developing, um, I'm gonna talk to you about these amazing um, tweezers. These are Laura Mercier tweezers for Tweezer Man. Uh, oh, sorry, by Tweezer Man for Laura Mercier. And what's so clever about them is they, um, instead of having to hold the tweezers between your um, finger and thumb, you can, it's much more comfortable and you get much better grip with this big fat area here. So, um, yeah, it's, I think it's very important that you pluck uh, beneath the eyebrows one of the golden rules is, unless you are an expert, don't try and change the shape above. And don't over pluck, because research says that some eyebrows only have a particular life cycle, and if you over pluck them, sometimes they start to not grow back. Uh, so that is why some people say that they over pluck their eyebrows when they were younger, and that they haven't grown back properly, which is very sad. So don't, whatever you do, over pluck them, especially, especially when you're young, because you'll ruin them mm. forever. Okay, so I've left this on for a minute, uh, and now there is a gel. There is a gel, and it is eyelash colour gel, and this is a dark brown. Now you add this gel through your brows as well. Now they're going to go very dark, but this isn't the colour, this, be, wa be warned, this is not the colour that your eyebrows are going to end up. I'll keep adding. So there's basically a reaction between these two products and they've gone brown. So just follow the line of your face. Now that looks incredibly dark, I know, but it doesn't stay that dark. It's probably worth tidying up under got some cotton wool and some water here or if you can get a cotton bud it does it can actually stain your skin but that dies down after a day or so they can look a little bit darker to begin with okay I'm just gonna leave that on for a minute the longer you leave it the more the browner or darker they'll be so I'm just gonna look a little bit weird to begin with but anyway um here are some other amazing products this is one of my favourite ones. It's called Gimme Brow by Benefit. It is absolutely brilliant. And when I was with um, Caroline Barnes, the makeup artist, the other day, she often does Kylie's makeup, and she says she uses this. I don't know if she uses it on Kylie, but I saw it in her kit, and I said, that product is brilliant. And she said, it is. So, 
I've obviously got good taste if Caroline likes it. And um, this is in a fair colour, it's called Light to Medium. And basically it's like a powder, but it's very slight gel powder. And so it adds a very a little hint of colour whilst defining your brows at the same time. I don't know if you can see what that does. It's very subtle. Right, I'm going to take the other eyebrow off before I have a disaster. Okay, you'll see it comes off. But you have to sort of eye scrub it off a bit because you don't want any left on your skin. Sorry, you might be able to hear a buzzing. That's actually my phone ringing. So can you see that's a little bit darker? I think I probably should leave it on for a little bit longer uh, to make it even darker, but there we are. I haven't had time. So, okay, right, another brilliant product is this Blink, um, you can see how good it is because I have used it. It's this Blink powder pencil, and this is in ooh, something sandalwood, I'll find out. And it has a brush at one end, and um, it's quite a fair colour at the other end. And, yeah, you can see that my eyebrow is slightly darker. It's quite subtle. Um, this is great for uh, defining your brows very subtly. I'm not a massive fan of powder ones because I find that powder eyebrow shape is called sort of leave a bit of a splodge. Um, these ones, these pencils, kind of light pencils, they're not the same texture of pencils that you put around your eyes like coal pencil because coal pencils um, they're too soft, so they create a real splodge in your eyebrow. They're quite always quite hard. These um, these eyebrow pencils. And that's a great one. That's by Blink. Another brilliant one, also by Blink, is this brow definer. And this, I believe, is quite new. And it's again a quite hard little pencil. This one comes in cinnamon spice. This one is in cinnamon spice, but it comes in various colours. And it's a hard little pencil, so you almost can just draw on tiny little, um, tiny little individual eyebrows in a way. So you can see my eyebrows are looking a bit darker. Um, I don't want them to be really dark, because otherwise like, it can look a bit weird, especially on fair people. Uh, one other product, which I think is really amazing, is this one by Studio 10. Again, it's an eyebrow pencil, and at both ends it has got um, a brown for the eyebrows. This, let me see what colour this is in. This is in, one end is in Universal, the other end is in, oh it doesn't say actually what colour, but anyway. Uh, the other area is in a, just a subtle kind of like quite a universal shade and if you have plucked your eyebrows and you need to go outside afterwards this is a brilliant one for putting under the brow for disguising that redness you get from plucking see on here I've been plucking so it's quite good for disguising that but also it's good for sort of like defining the shape of your eye eyebrow underneath see that just makes it a bit neater I need to pluck this eyebrow. But those are some of my favourite products. I hope that helps. Um, they come obviously in different shades, so for different skin tones, because everybody's different, obviously. And um, yeah, but I hope that helps. And yeah, please tell me your favourite eyebrow products below. And if you have any questions, I will also answer them. Great to see you guys, and see you again next week. Thanks, bye.